Time now for JJ is fired up as John Jastrzemski joins us from his home after completing the Brooklyn Half Marathon earlier on Sunday morning. JJ, are you finally dry? I think I'm finally there, Eamon. My legs are hurting. I think I mushed the weather forecast with a text I sent you earlier in the week, but I got this bad boy to show for it. We got a medal and we're under two hours. So we're fired up and we're super fired up. The New York Knickerbockers, one win away from that first playoff series in a decade. Yeah, let's get right to it, JJ, because many of us have been critical of RJ Barrett. So is he owed an apology from the doubters after game four? Well, Sir Eamon, I'm about to give R.J. Barrett an apology because I destroyed him after his performance in Game 1 and Game 2, and I wondered if he would be able to come alive. You know New Yorkers, they're going to get on you fast, and I think it was so imperative for Barrett to get off to a fast start on Friday night in Game 3. He was terrific in their win Friday evening, and he was outstanding on Sunday afternoon. And even though he didn't hit a three-point shot, he was aggressive. He was taking the ball to the basket. He was getting a charity strike and gave the Knicks that source of secondary scoring that was paramount for them, considering they got very little from Julius Randle. So much focus on Barrett and Jalen Brunson, but what impressed you the most about Josh Hart's game on Sunday? He does everything for this team, Amy, and that's what it boils down to. You need him to hit a shot, he'll do that. You need him to grab a rebound, he will do that. He can go coast to coast. He is a flat-out junkyard dog, and I say that in the most complimentary way imaginable. The Knicks would not be in the position they're in without Hart. What a pickup by Leon Rose. Give him all the credit in the world. All right, JJ, we'll ask the marathon runner to pick up the pace for the last question here. But up 3-1, you have a bit of a safety net. So if you were Tom Thibodeau, how much thought would you give resting Julius Randle in Game 5? No thought. They have an off day on Monday. They have an off day on Tuesday. Julius Randle should be able to go and play much better. Now, I commend Tom Thibodeau. He did the right thing in the fourth quarter of this game. Randle did not have it. The bench was playing well. He deserved to be on the bench. But you got two days, two days, let's go here. Plenty of time to rest for Julius Randle to get right Wednesday against Cleveland. He's got to play. All right, J.J., we will now let you get some rest, but be sure to watch the next segment as we have more reaction from R.J. Barrett coming up. You got it, Amon.